Jared Clark, Air Guns of Arizona product review. We're back here today in the warehouse for AOA. We're gonna grab off the shelf a Daystate Wolverine B. We're gonna talk about some of the features, some of the things that this rifle has that makes it unique from all the other air rifles on the market today. And then we're also gonna take it to our 20 yard test range. We're gonna fill it up with some air and we're gonna shoot some groups with it. So why don't we go ahead and pull one off the shelf here. I'll meet you guys in the showroom and we'll get it going. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Daystate Wolverine B. This is a beautiful gun out of England and what we're going to do quickly for you is just show you what all comes in the box. So right upon opening it you immediately see a quality control check right here. This is done in England at the factory and they just guarantee that everything is how it should be when it arrives here in the United States. And what we do after we get that is we include our own test slip with each gun. Where we visually inspect the rifles we also test the guns for velocity as well as accuracy. So every day state gun that leaves our store gets a scope put on it, it gets shot over the chronograph, and it also gets shot for accuracy. And we have the ability to take a picture of the group we shot and include it with each rifle. So when you get a day state from us, that should be one of the first things you see is our test slip, day state's test slip, and then the owner's manual telling you everything you need to know about the rifle. We get that out of the way. And then we get to the real good stuff down here. The rifle itself, obviously dressed in the beautiful Italian walnut stock. What else you'll find in the box with it? You do get a 10 shot magazine, comes with each rifle. And you also get the foster fitting you need to fill it with air. These come with 1 8 thread pitches on the back that is pretty standard with anything air gun related in terms of uh, foot pumps or scuba tanks or stuff like that. So both of those come with it. And the only other thing you'll see in here is a hug it moderator. This is something that we do here in the United States. So each gun comes with a Milbro Hug It moderator. You just go ahead and pull the plastic off that. It's a beautiful piece that is extremely efficient. It'll take your report down significantly. Along with being super effective, this is gonna be a visual upgrade. Gives it a very good look and it's also gonna quiet down the rifle significantly. So put it on there, it's nice and quiet, it's backyard friendly, it's ready to go. So that does come included with the gun. Milbro Hug It connects via thread pitch here. And if you look on the rifle, the corresponding male thread pitch is right here. So what we're gonna do, it's all very easily done. You just slide it over, never push too hard on it. And then when the threads line up, just go ahead and twist it in. Once it comes to a stop and you can't twist it any further, it's secure, it's ready to go. And like I was saying, it gives it a very good look, very aggressive, but also very quiet. Everyday State does come with a three year warranty. This is indicated by a card that comes with it that'll have the serial number, the caliber, and then the words three year guarantee running across the top. We are the warranty center in the United States, so if you ever have any problems within the first three years, just give us a call and we'll get you taken care of. Now that we got the shroud on and it's all ready to go, we're gonna throw on an MTC Genesis scope. It's a five by 20 magnification with a 50 millimeter objective. The Genesis scopes are distributed by Daystate out of England, and we sell them here in the United States. I'm gonna use the Sportsmatch medium 30 millimeter mounts, as the scope itself is a 30 millimeter scope, and the way the magazines sit on Daystate rifles, you're almost always cleared with a medium mount, so you don't have to worry about going high. Nice medium will give you all the clearance you need. The MTC Genesis scope, it's a nice side focus parallax, so you have all your parallax options right here on the side, much like many of the 30 millimeter scopes. Also what's included with these that's neat and you won't see it anywhere else, they come with Butler Creek caps. So that's nice to have. You have the compression fitting right there, so it'll click in place and when you want it open, you just press that down. And then in the front, it's just a standard cap up there. Um, they also have illuminated reticles, so if you do any kind of low light shooting, it's great for that. And the reticle that they use is very in depth. It'll give you many holdover points. Just a great scope for a gun like this that can do, is capable of being accurate and carrying out to further distances. A scope like this will really maximize the potential of the rifle. Now that we've got the scope on, the shroud on, we have this beautiful Daystate Wolverine B right here in front of us. We're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the features. Um, obviously one of the first thing that gets you is this walnut stock they have. These guns use Minelli Italian walnut stocks that are just absolutely gorgeous. What you'll notice, the etching, it's 
beautiful engraving. It's got a Wolverine there. It says Day State really nice up here. So in terms of wood, Day States are really gonna be some of the nicest stocks out there. The Wolverine B comes with a fully ambidextrous walnut stock. It has a thumb hole cut out here just for overall comfort and makes shouldering the rifle very simple. So right-handed is very comfortable or you can switch it over and left-handed it's just as comfortable. So in the world of air guns and the world of shooting, there's not a lot that cater to left-handed shooters, but this is one of the exceptions. Going on from there, you see that it's got a 500cc tank, nice big reservoir. It equates to about 70, 80 shots per fill. So it's very efficient with the air. They use the Harper slingshot valve in here. So it's really doing as much as it possibly could with the air that's given. On from there, if you flip it over, you can see that you have a nice day state gauge here, just for quick reference points, knowing how much air you have, knowing if you have enough, enough in the tank for that next couple shots or not. So the air gauge is always nice. And then from there, we'll get a little bit more advanced. Um, the Wolverines, kind of specific to the Wolverine model than any of the others, they have this nice big beefy bolt on them. So you'll notice that on most day states, it looks, it's about the same diameter here, but when you pull it out, very skinny bolt. The Wolverines have a nice big thick bolt, makes it easier to cock. Everything's just really smooth about this action. And then one of the other things why we're on the bolt is you can flip this exact bolt. You don't have to order a left-handed bolt. This one can actually be removed by taking off this brass set screw right here, removing this set screw out of the back, literally pulling it off, flipping it over, and then putting those screws back on and you have a truly left-handed gun. So that is a very unique feature, something that's new to the Day State product line. One of the coolest features about the Wolverine that is gonna be specific to the Wolverine, you're not gonna see this in any of the other Day State models, but is the way that they actuate the magazine. So on a traditional Day State, you have your magazine here, you just put the pellets in, and you click it to the next one to load it. It's all spring tension based, and as, when you're full, it'll just stop clicking. So on these, what you do then is the actuator's on the bottom. So when that gets pushed in, clicks you to the next pellet and so on and so on. What's unique about the Wolverine is the actuator itself is not connected to the bolt. So on, if you have any other day states, you actually pull the bolt and that brings up the actuator and that puts you to the next pellet. With the Wolverine, when I pull the bolt back, you'll notice nothing was there to pop up. What it uses is it actually uses some of the air from the shot and this pin comes up as you shoot. So it might not seem important, but what that does is it only allows one pellet to ever be loaded in the barrel. So it, it, it puts a pellet in and it won't go to the next pellet until you fire that shot. So that's very unique to the Wolverine. And it's also a very good feature if you're anyone who's ever double loaded or got some pellets stuck in the barrel. This gun gives you the peace of mind that it physically cannot do that. So that is one of the coolest features on this gun and one of the most newest innovation designs from Day State. The gun also features a mechanical safety, which is nice for anyone who uses or shoots. Um, kind of what's different about it than your other day states is it's located in the center and it just goes left and right, whereas the other ones were kind of up on the side and they went up and down. This one just goes left and right, but it's the same idea where you see red, you're ready to shoot. One of the other features you're gonna get out of the Wolverine, much like all the other day state rifles, is the two-stage trigger that's on here. It is fully adjustable, and for anyone who's ever shot a day state, you know how smooth and crisp it is. There's no creep involved with these triggers. They're done so well that it breaks like glass. It really is a pleasure to shoot. The Wolverine B utilizes a quick fill option on the bottom here. So you just remove the dust cap here and you have a male foster. Um, like we showed earlier, the gun does come with the corresponding female foster and that just clamps on quick connect system, fill it with air and it's ready to go. We've had a chance to look at all the features on the Wolverine B. Now we're gonna air it up, take it next door, test it for accuracy, test it for velocity and just overall performance. The Wolverine B runs off of about 3,200 pounds of pressure on a full charge. Um, so after removing the dust cap, it'll expose the quick fill here. Go ahead and connect that to the tank. On our gauge here, we're just gonna go ahead and close the bleeder valve, open up the air. So once we hit just above 3,000 PSI on our gauge here, gonna let it get to about 32. Cut off the supply on the valve there, open up the bleeder valve, and we're ready to do some shooting. So we got the gun pressurized to about 3,200 PSI. The air tank is full. We're out here at the range. We got about 20 yards here that we'll be working with. What we're gonna do is shoot it for some velocity to let you see what kind of velocity it's doing, as well as we're gonna show you some of the groups we're shooting with it. So we'll do a velocity check, we'll do an accuracy check, and then we'll just do an overall performance review of the rifle. The Wolverine B, just like many Day State rifles, comes with a 10-shot rotary magazine. The first thing we're gonna do is get this loaded, and that can simply be done by putting the pellet in nose first, kind of seating it with your finger there, and then just 
clicking it to the next one. This is all done by spring tension, so this is one of the most simple magazines to load, as you just put one in and switch it to the next one. The Daystate magazine system uses, utilizes a magnet here. That's just to help seat it once it's in the breech. So as I'm sliding it in, what you'll see is it almost gets taken away from me at a certain point and just slips in. That magnet holds it in place, prevents any kind of jamming or loading issues. Um, just another one of the features that many of the Daystate rifles offer. We're gonna shoot one magazine's worth of the JSB Exact Jumbo and see what kind of velocities we get out of those. And then we're also gonna do a full magazine of the H&N Barracuda Match. These are a little bit heavier. They're gonna maximize your foot pounds of energy. So what we'll do is a magazine of each. We'll calculate the foot pounds off the velocities and see what kind of results we get. Now that we have some numbers to look at, we see on our shot string of 10 shots using the JSB exacts, we have a high of 907, a low of 897, so that's a spread of 10 feet per second. The, um, the average shot is 903 with the 16 grain JSBs, and then your standard deviation is two. So that's just if you calculate all the shots, take the difference, it averages out to two feet per second on every shot, which is very tight, very good consistency. What we're gonna do is I've put some H&N Barracuda Match, nice 21 grain, heavy hitting pellet. I've put five of these in the magazine. I'm gonna go ahead, shoot these over the chronograph, and we'll calculate some uh, energy from that. Here we go. What we had on this gun was a high of 819 feet per second, a low of 811 feet per second, with a spread of eight feet per second, not bad. Um, the medium was 814 feet per second. So if you calculate that out, it comes to just above 31 foot pounds, which is more than enough velocity and energy you need for most of your air gunning needs. But just to give you an idea, 21 grain pellets will shoot 815 feet per second with this gun. Now that we've finished our velocity and energy test, I've loaded five of these 16 grain JSBs back into the magazine. I'm gonna really focus on group size and be as accurate as I possibly can. So there we have five shots all in about the inner circle of the bullseye. So that's grouping really well and that's kind of what you can expect out of a day state rifle right there. Now that we've grouped it on paper, we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of fun here and shoot out the tiny little numbers on the bull, starting with the one on the left and going inward. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as quickly as I can and see what kind of results we get. Okay, here we go. Oh, and with the exception of the four and the bullseye, I think I was pretty good across the board there. I pulled the one on the four, I felt it as soon as I pulled the trigger, and then the bullseye, I think that one was me too, but it still gives you a good idea of how accurate the gun is, and even though I'm moving quickly and shooting and reloading, it's still keeping everything very consistent there. Thanks for joining us on today's AOA product review. We talked about the Wolverine B, saw some of the cool features that it has to offer that is unique to the line, as well as saw some of the results and what it's capable of doing. We uh, hope that you'll stay tuned and keep an eye out for our next video.